Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. My name is Matthias Bilbao and I was recently asked by a client how to locate her phone uh, using the Find My Phone uh, feature. Now for that you absolutely need your Apple ID and prior to having lost or misplaced your device you must have turned that feature on on that device. So I'll just go ahead and go to my web browser. I use Safari on my Mac. And I've already navigated to iCloud.com, which is Apple's latest cloud um, service. They upgraded from MobileMe, or let, let's just say they transitioned from the MobileMe service to the iCloud service. Uh, they both look very similar when you log in. So if you go to MobileMe.com or iCloud.com, it'll prompt you for your login, just like it is here. And I'll type in my email, and I will type in my password and I'll click on the arrow to log in. Now you'll notice that one of the options here is find my phone. Now this is the original name of the app but in fact it, it locates more than just your phone. It locates your Mac, it locates your iPad so they'll probably end up renaming this soon. I'll click on find my phone and you'll notice I have a long list of devices there that I've logged into or that I have my Apple ID set to locate the device in. Now as it locates a device you'll notice a little green circle will appear next to it whereas the other one that is still locating will show up in gray. Now if it doesn't locate that device it could be that the device is off or simply that it's an old device that you no longer use like my iPhone 4 down here. Notice it says offline I can remove it completely which I will by hitting that X and clicking on remove. That's an old iPhone I, don't, I no longer use. If I select any of the devices that have been located, such as my iPhone 4S, it tells me where it's located and how long ago it was last located. In this case, one minute ago. If I click on the info circle next to it, I'm able to play a sound or send a message to that device. So let's say somebody has found it and I want to send them a message and a sound that says, hey, uh, you have found my phone. I have a reward for you if you return it, etc." The other thing is, although it's advisable to always have your um, iPhone with a passcode in order to use it, if you have forgotten or, or you simply did not set it up to have a password to unlock, you can remotely lock it from here. You can also remotely erase it, remote wipe, so you can erase the entire iPhone remotely. That's a really neat feature. So if you really think it's been stolen, it's not going to be returned to you, and you have sensitive information on that device, you can remotely wipe it from here. I'll go ahead and click on my iPad 2, see where that's located. And sure enough, there it is. So there you go. Uh, one last thing I want to reinforce here. Notice that in the list of my devices, I have iMacs, iPads, iPhones, and this is because it will work with a variety of devices, once again, not just your iPhone. So make sure that when you set up a new Apple device that you log in with your Apple ID and turn on the Find My iPhone feature. Very important. On your iPhone, for example, to do that, you would go to Settings, and then you would scroll down to Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. You would select the account email or the email account that you use for uh, that you use as your Apple ID, and select it, and then scroll down. And one of the last options there is Find My iPhone, and you want to move that switch so that it says on. And that's it, pretty much. Uh, very simple to locate any Apple device as long as you have the Find My iPhone feature on. If you want to turn on Find My iPhone on your Mac. Simply go to the Apple System Preferences, and if you've transitioned from MobileMe to iCloud and you're running Lion, go to iCloud, and you'll notice that the last option at the bottom is Find My Mac. All you need to do is put a little checkbox next to it, and that'll be that. Now, in my case, I can't do that. You may notice mine is grayed out, and the reason for that is that I use a RAID card. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a RAID card is, don't worry about it, but essentially it's um, an internal component I've added to my Mac Pro that does not allow for me to use this feature. 
So there you go. That's all you need to do. If you're on mobile me, you simply use the mobile me option and go to the sync option and you'll find that option here. It won't show up for me because I've already up, upgraded from mobile me to iCloud. So, but this is where you'll find it if you're still using mobile me. All right. Hope this helps.